This is Angel. I am here to show you my finished Deep Blue Sea journal. It turned out to be a big one. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but it did. This is the gator mouth. <laughs> it's like over five inches once I take the cord off. It's a huge, it's two stories. It's two stories tall, yeah. It's two signatures. <laughs> and it's like over a pound and a half of yumminess. So let's begin. After I tell you, <laughs> it is eight and a quarter by seven and three quarters. No, by five and seven. All right, let's start this over. Eight and a quarter by five and three fourths. My eyes don't want to see what it's supposed to see. It's one and a quarter inch spine. And it's got 72 pages front and back. And it is highly decorated, especially the cover. It's got vintage doilies. It's got my handmade uh, trims and doilies. And I made what they call a lucid cord, which was fun and interesting. I've never heard of it before. And I've got one doily hanging over the backside here and a little doily there. So it is hardback, so that's chipboard in there. I've got fabric cover. I've got Tyvek, and I've got other fabric on the inside to help make it sturdy. I've got fake pearls. Sorry, I couldn't cut up the real pearls. <laughs> and I've got little seashells. And I've got some phrases and short poems in here. I did do uh, glitter glue here. It says, smell the sea and feel the sky. Let your soul and spirit fly. It's by Van Morrison. It's so cool. And this was a tag that I had made. And I do have the book corners on. And let me see if I'm in frame. Because I have to do this sitting down. Because I need everything in order to show this and keep it open. <laughs> so I used antique papery uh, digitals. This is hers. I did this on cardstock, heavyweight cardstock. And these are printed out on presentation paper. And it is a beautiful kit. This part was separate. This was a separate kit of hers. But look how beautiful they are. So I've got laces, I've got stitching, I've got inks, and lots of goodies, lots of embellishments and buttons. Life is like the ocean. It can be calm and still or rough and rigid, but in the end, it is always beautiful, right? And this is the flip down. So you have writing space, and make sure I'm in camera here, and writing space. So if you want to see the detail, that's the detail on the pages, copy dyed pages. These came with the kit. I've already forgotten what the kit's name is, Blue Horizon maybe, uh, but I will put it in the comments below or in the link below. So this is a little fold-out for writing space. This came out of a Better Home, no, nope, it's a Woman's Day a magazine that I found, 1961, and I thought it was just cute to see how the, the advertisements were back in the day. So this is a little tuck spot and a little tag that I decorated. Yeah, some writing space. Some doilies with some decoupage napkin on it. Some more of the pretty paper. And this, I'll show you. It's a tuck spot back there. And I believe this envelope flips out. I can't remember what I did. <laughs> it took me all week to make this. And I forget already. And it is so full. Maybe I should have made three signatures. I just got carried away. Here's a belly band. And here's a little journal I made. 
Got some papers and some stamping. Cute little images I found on Pinterest. And this was one of Antique Papery's um, digitals. And used it as a journaling card. Here's a little tuck spot that I made. With, I think it's supposed to be a bookmark or something. Or a tag. Here's one of the envelopes that came with it. Pretty pictures. That's what inspired this whole album. And this was a mixed media, like a mop-up page. And I sprayed it with Lindy's sprays. And it has all the shimmer, a little cluster, and some little flowers I made. And here's one of the tags. And I love that little blue button. Those are vintage buttons. It says, at the beach, life is different. Time doesn't move hour to hour, but mood to moment. We live by the currents, plan by the tides, and follow the sun. And this is some vintage things that I found at the antique store. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It could have been a curtain or a tablecloth. I don't know. And here you have a little tuck spot. Little tuck spot. It's a little journaling card. And but more wonderful than the lore of old man and lore of books is the secret love of ocean. H.P. Lovecraft. And I got a little fan button. I love it. And here's the journaling card. You can never cross the ocean until you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. Christopher Columbus. And I also inked some masking tape. Um, I forget who I saw do that, but I did a video of it. And it came out the second time, so I like that. There's a little butterfly. Some... Music paper. And I made a little stationary page. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I did end up buying the large um, envelope punch board because I wanted to make some large envelopes without having to do the math. <laughs> so, look how pretty in the blues. I love these. Here's a little envelope I made, decoupage, some napkins on it, another little tag I made, and I left you a spot for you to put something in too. <laughs> Here's another little tuck spot, and this was a little different. Um, I made a little coin envelope, and for the the bottom flap I just attached here so that it would become a little flip. And do I have anything in here? Nope, I left that empty for you. So, writing paper, some bubbles. And here's a little flip. Pretty paper, little doily. It's just to show that that was a tuck space. And this again is another tuck space. Paper. This is not a tuck space. I just wanted to decorate the page because I wanted to use up the rest of those pretty pictures I printed out. So this is from 1947. It's a copy. I made a copy of it. I found this at the antique stores from Waterford, New York, back when it was one cent. But I love that handwriting, so I printed it out in color after I scanned it. I need to go back and get some more. I love that handwriting. But I had already exceeded my budget. <laughs> oh, this one pops out. And we'll tag here. Da-da-da. 
And I know I've seen somebody do this. And I can't remember if it's G-Cur or not. I got some buttons. And this. Oh, maybe Wendy's. Wendy's Journal Adventure. We are like islands in the sea, separate on the surface, but connected in the deep. William James. So what you have is writing space, and you have a envelope tuck there, more writing space, and another tuck spot there. And I need a little punchy thingies. I need to get more punches. <laughs> I'll have to. Okay, here's a little corner pocket. Said the ocean steers the heart, inspires the imagination, and brings a, a, ew, eternal joy to the soul by Wyland. I'm not sure who Wyland is. But I just decorated a little guest check and got writing space. And I was running out of room, so I tucked it there. It wouldn't fit anywhere else. See, I overloaded these things. <laughs> Here's a tag I made. It says, The sea is a desert of waves, a wilderness of waters. Langston Hughes. Let's see. And then there's the pocket. And here's another little just decoration. Let's show a little tuck spot. And then a little says you only need to stand near the ocean to feel the power of the universe and a closeness to the ones who created it. Susan Gale. Ooh. Live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. R.W. Emerson. I found some pretty quotes. At least I think they're pretty. And this is a linen pocket I made. I got some lace on it and a little to me I'm going to say that's a starfish even though it's a flower <laughs> but it needs to be a starfish for this and that's a little pocket whoops right back here now oh, I got sniffles again okay so this is a little something to ride on and this pulls out for some more riding space it's like, ta-da! There you go. And this little flip out. And the wind whispers, don't be afraid. I am here. Close your eyes. Smell the salty air. Let the spirit of the ocean move you. Everything is at, ooh, everything is as it should be. Oh, I messed that up. I'm sorry. Dance with the waves. Move with the sea. Let the rhythm of the water set your soul free. Christy Ann Martin. That almost sounds like a song, though, doesn't it? Oh, no. A little tucky spot there. I forget all the things that I hide. I could have put a saying there. Oh! Third German car. Here's that fishnet. <laughs> kind of sewed some buttons and seashells and starfish. And that's supposed to be a mother of pearl, although it's, it's not. <laughs> And then I decorated another envelope. And the writing space. That was, that was a napkin. If I don't put it back, I'll forget where I had it. <laughs> Well, that's the cute little fishing net. I think it used to be a curtain or a tablecloth. And this is a tuck spot. Another tuck spot. This is just a decoration. It's pretty. Mermaids are always pretty. Although I did find some scary ones. <laughs> but I didn't want to use those. There's some more. These pictures I found on Pinterest. This is antique papery. Oh, and I got a little sea horse there. Stamps it on. He was hiding. 
and a little flippy. And here's another envelope to put your memories in, tuck some things in there. And here's another flip out. This is a racy one. Watch it, they're kissing. Okay, enough of that. Here I made a little booklet. Got some pages in there. And it's got two whole, three whole pamphlets there. Yeah. And here's another tuck spot. And here's a tag to write on. Little belly band, and I've got some bling on it. Some mermaids. Some little seashells. I did a little stamping here and there. Another little tuck spot. Little journaling card. Another little tucky spot. So if you like blue, this is for you. <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> Another little truck spot. A little punching. Another. And that's not a tuck spot, it's just decoration. Does it match the ink? <laughs> Trying to color coordinate, right? What is this? For whatever we lose, like you or a me, it's always ourself we find in the sea. E.E. E. Cummings. Isn't that sweet? So we got a tuck spot back there and flip up. Oops. A little tuck spot there. And some writing paper. So. Ooh, that is it. And then this. I left it there, but I thought it matched the green on her beautiful, beautiful um, papers. And again, not a real pearl. I'm so sorry. I love that. It all just came together. So I hope you enjoyed. The flower. I love it. Look into her eyes. She wants you to make one. Ooh. Okay, no silliness. Sorry. But I hope you enjoy. I hope it gives you some ideas of what to use or how to use them in a journal. And um, I will see you later. Probably take me a week to recuperate from making this one and clean up the mess I made. So, y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.